I really want to thank you for taking the time to be here in this moment to cherish together, to talk about a conversation that may be an important topic. You see, a lot of us, in one way or another, we have come across and we've been concerned about this topic of the warfare. From the beginning of history to now, when we look at the news, when we look at all the wars that is happening, the hate, the discrimination, the pandemic just we all went through for the last couple of years, and we still are in a recovery right now. What I had the privilege to do for the last 18 years, now it is a team of people creating art to inspire global peace and give half to charities. Today I'm gonna to give a presentation about what this artwork is represent, what this is about. Uh, the reason why we are in the front, I'm gonna give you a uh, sample work. And then we're gonna go all in the back and then I'm gonna have a slideshow, give you the story. And then what, how everything got involved and what's going on now and what the future is. And then we're going to have the founder of No Roots, Dr. G. He's going to talk about the nonprofit organization that we do. So, because our brand, the brand that I had the privilege to be in, and, um, was an instrument. I don't see myself out did it all. I believe there is a higher source that we all connected, brought me as an instrument to create and be an instrument of it. To give half to charity. So today we have a nonprofit organization that we support. I have a lot of, personally, I know how powerful mental health, health is. We all, in one way or another, have gone through that topic, whatever the topic is, it's good. recovering from some kind of addiction, or just mental, emotional support, or kind of relationship. I know how powerful it is. It is something that does not address much, so I'm here and a lot of you actually came here from Dr. G's uh, Noru's Foundation. So that's why we are here. We want to support, and then at the end, I'm going to have my curator, um, <coughs> Neft and I, is going to talk about the phenomenon of uh, NFT. Some of you have heard, but he's going to educate you what's going on and why this is a great opportunity to pay attention to. So I had. I always ask a question. It all started when I was six years old. I was born and raised in Sweden. We moved to our visiting our grandfather's house in Iran. It was the war between Iran and Iraq. I remember one of those nights. There's airplanes of Iraqis are crashing and bombing the city. And I go upstairs, it's just an innocent little child. Nobody deserves to have that kind of experience. I go on top of the rooftop and I see the bombing is happening. And everything that you see here started from that. Why? Why there? It all started asking me questions like, what's going on? Why there are so many? Why is the human history with so many wars? Why? And as of today, this topic of wars has continuously gone. It's happening. You know, the way we use lighting, the way we trans use transportation, the way we cook, the way we communicate, the advancement of technology that evolved in so many phenomenal, you know, advancements. And but the topic of peace has not yet evolved much. 4,000 years ago, we see the same pattern. Whoever was the stronger, like the animal world, is on top of the weaker, and still it's going on. So that why led me a simple question of forget about why. Is there a how? Is there a way that we can finally humanity experience global peace? And that answer, we all, when we start really tuning in, is very simple. It's unity, it's oneness. It's really, really recognizing that no matter what gender, no matter what culture, no matter what religion, what ethnicity, what country, no matter what, 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 wherever you live, we all connected. We all from one 
source. We are one human family. And that answer was so clear to me that I had the privilege to do something that I love to do, to express it through my artistic talent, to express unity and oneness. We are one. So 9-11 was the trigger. Uh, we lived here in, in America, and, it, and all those nightmares, all those um, traumas that I had in childhood. A lot of us in Persian here, some of us have those memories. Mm -hmm. Good to you, Dr. right? We, we see that. Some of, many, all of us have seen it in TV. Some of us have experienced. I've seen some Vietnamese community here. They have experienced it. That's why they're so passionate. Mm -hmm. They're working with their heart for the last two months and just bringing people to see what's going on here. So, <coughs> bottom shelf, what happened is, I said I want to create a big, giant peace pain that's going to express that message, we are one. So I used the talents that I learned and I was educated and I loved to do. The only thing I had A plus was art. <laughs> Everything else I sucked. So <laughs> this is it. So what you see is a combination of 2,000 devil-sided paintings. Everything that you see here is part of those 2,000. The original. Everything you see here is original paintings. They were hand-painted by me. 18 years. 10 years in my parents' garage. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, my parents are over here. With the passion of one day, one day, our great great grandchildren looking up to this giant painting and get inspired. When we look at the Sistine Chapel, we get inspired. That's what we are here. That's what this is about. So, 2,000 paintings from the front side is a combination of 2,000 abstract faces. All these abstract faces, there's no perfect face. It's just like Nobody's perfect. That's why. That's symbolically what it means. And country flags, when they come together, excuse me, Dr. Jimmy, it turns to a 17 story high of a building. Every little square that you see here, for example, this painting right here from the front side is actually right here. Is this one right here with the light white stripe? 2,000 abstract paintings in unity. Finally, you see peace. With the help of all the country flags, you see the contemporary peace sign, with all the people and countries coming together, all, none excluded. Again, all included. The Holy Spirit and the Holy Branch, which is the own ancient peace sign. Finally, we'll see peace. That's the ultimate message. So, I use the front side, when I looked at it, I see, okay, this is a message of unity, even you see two big international known peace symbols. Why don't I go crazy, why don't I use the back side to express what is it that we're gonna unite over? From the back side over here, you see a piece of fraction of earth. When all of these 2,000 paintings come together, you see infinite love covering planet Earth. The same way, when we look at the whole galaxies and stars and planets that have been coexisting for billions and trillions of years, because the truly started, they follow their own true nature. When we, when we follow our true nature, we will finally see peace in the planet. That's what this ultimate message is about. Now when we look around all of these paintings, I'm gonna kinda of give you a fraction of story. Every painting has a story. For example, this painting right here was made in 2003. This painting right here was the second painting I ever made. I was guided to just do all these abstract crazy faces and then I would just didn't know what I was doing. It took me a few years to just kinda of download intellectually what these mean. So this is actually the second painting. And I started to call all of these abstract faces visions. Vision one, vision two, this is called, there is a reason there is a two over here. There is a reason why that hole in it, because you're gonna see some picture, I started hanging my ceiling in my house. And these are the nine babies. Every vision, there's over 168 of them, 167, have nine subvisions of babies. When I actually cut them in nine parts, in every part, I created another composition. This series is called 
resilient through storm. You see a lot of wind, you see a lot of motion. But the art, it's kind of showing no matter what you go through, you can still stay resilient. We all go through that in our journey. So that's what these nine babies and the mother symbolize. For example, these three paintings, to make it simple, these are the three hearts. These are the heart of the job. These are the heart of the art. Right here, these three. We see this one is called, this is called infinite love. Our Father. We see the white heart, Holy Spirit. And we see the red heart, the Son, us, the children. They are coming in together. So that's what these three are. The painting right here is called Unity and Peace in Action. This is from a different series. This is not part of the vision series. This is one of the last 14 of the painting. Basically, this is the logo of the day the big display is going to happen. A few couple months ago, I think actually less than two months ago, we had the mayor of Irvine. Come on in, welcome, welcome give a presentation and they are very I saw her actually two nights ago she's very excited and committed to make this happen we're gonna build and display the whole giant artwork the 17 story building that is one way that's the ultimate way we're actually gonna lay it down on the ground that actually can have a walk through and experience it. this art is called unity and peace in action you see hand this is the logo of the big display. One day, it's gonna happen. I've been eager to make this happen for the last 18 years. Whenever the divine interventions wanna make it happen, happen. The reason that all of you are here, I don't know any, hardly any of you, but I see the power word of mouth. This message, because of these three hearts, because this message is just about global peace, is a heart-based message. Anybody with a heart hears this. That is all of us, all of us, seven billions, eight billions of us. Any, everybody. There's no judgment. Everybody's included. So this painting right here is the day, it's called Unity and Peace in Action. It's a charity, you see music, people holding hands. Imagine that everybody give one hand, everybody else can receive in a hand. The whole globe is full. Everybody have a full belly. We can do that. I want to guide you slowly to the back because I want to show you a partial of the branch right here. Ten pieces. It's a total of 64 pieces. We're going to slowly walk to the back and then we're going to have a seat and some of you may stand and then I'm going to have a presentation for how the whole story. It's so many of these, 2,000 paintings, so I just have a fraction of them. I have about 50 of them. So these right here is actually displayed. Ten, only 10 of them are displayed right here in back. Come on, slowly in the back. So what you see here, this is 10 pieces, <laughs> part of the olive branch. It's gonna be a total of 64 pieces right now. In the 18 years of the journey, I have about 44 paintings to go, and that is part of the olive branch right now. This one right here is the eye. Come on in, everybody, if you can come, come on in. Don't be shy here. I know it's a little tight. This painting is the eye of the dove. Symbolically, it, it, it's a long story, but in short, it's basically symbolically what it means. I, this happened to be my image of my, um, a capture of my eye, and I noticed this is just perfect because the eye is looking at humanity with deep compassion and love, but it's still heartbroken by the behavior. That's what the eye represents, that's what the Holy Spirit symbolically how it came. Every one of these have a story. Now as we go in the back, this painting is one of the last 14 paintings. It's called Unconditional Love. Infinite love is about to bloom. Coming out from the cocoon. We have a lot of chairs in the back. Come on here and have a seat and just find a space. Don't be shy here. Come on in, have a seat. Please have a seat. Let's everybody have a space. 
by now. <laughs> Nobody knows each other. Everybody want to be light and clean and stuff. Those are amazing, those are amazing nails. Beautiful nail. Beautiful. Don't, don't be shy. Everyone, come on. Don't be shy. There's more seats here. Let's fill up all the chairs. There's a few chairs over there. Let's fill. Let's everybody be able to come here and have an experience. Move up, move up, move up, move up. Everyone, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's okay. Is Come everybody, on, everybody, majority everyone, of people here? Everyone, don't be shy, please. There's chairs right there, there's a chair right there, please. Have a seat. Mrs. Piney, I have a chair right there. I have a good chair for you. That's a special chair. Roland, there's a chair for you right there. Come on. Let the young ladies, Crystal. let the young ladies sit down. Crystal. 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 Thank you. And there's another chair right there. Please help yourself. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you for coming here. We have a large crowd here. Thank you for coming here. So what this is about, a song happened to be my name, but it means benevolence. It means good deeds. That's why I was attracted to use this as the brand. You have the fingerprint. It's all about art, inspiring global peace, and give half to charity. The most powerful way of communication is visual art. And I was blessed to be the instrument to use that. Even music doesn't does that, even how powerful it is, because it has a language barrier. But visual art is a very powerful way for maybe centuries from now. Still, people can get it, even though at that time we don't speak or listen the same way or communicate. So this is the ultimate vision right here. This is what we are planning to build. When you put all the 2,000 paintings together, you're gonna to be a monolith. And on the bottom is gonna be the top programming. And this is called the Vogue Center. This is just a teaser. So I'm gonna start with how everything started. How did everything start? It started by asking, and you know, and then why? And that why led me to how, and that how was, oneness and I don't know I didn't know what I you know one of the greatest gifts that I learned is just say I don't know <laughs> I don't know you guide me you let me know how and the answer will come so just you know I was guided just create all of these abstract faces and and, and I got crazy I said okay I'm going to fill up all the ceiling I don't know what to do with it I was just ceiling in ceiling in my bedroom and then in the hallway and then my brother's room my parents' bedroom, I said, mom, dad, is that okay? I know, they, they saw the consistency. They saw the consistency, and I was a troublemaker. I was gone for two weeks, and then I came back home. It was April 2003, uh, the, you know, end of March. And I look at my dad, and I said, dad, I'm gonna do something, it's gonna be everlasting, and just let me be doing, doing all my job. I was, you know, he was about to yell at me, and you know. <laughs> He said, okay, do it. And he supported me. And I had nothing. All I had just print paper. I had print paper. And all I had is just pencil and watercolor. And that's all I had. You don't need to know how to have anything. You will be guided. You, you will become resourceful. And my dad just saw the consistency. He just said, okay, as long as he's doing something, he's home, he's not making any trouble. Let's just keep him doing what he does. <laughs> So I started filling the whole house with downstairs, bedroom, <clears throat> everywhere, even the kitchen, over 500 paintings. These are just a fraction, there's a lot of pictures. And that's my parents back then, and they still look young as that, right? <laughs> and I have my little brothers, the dog grown up right now, the daughter brother, he has two children. Time goes fast. So and, and about a year later, <clears throat> So this was basically, the backside was, the house is a symbolic of home, inviting all these abstract faces, all of us, to this home. That's what symbolic them in. It was the first exhibition. The second exhibition was a tennis court. About a year and a half later, um, and somebody said, I want to do a documentary, and I said, okay, let's do this. And I started hanging them, and I asked the clubhouse, 
and they say you can do it just one day so um, early morning we started hanging all of these and they were obviously they had a paper cover that plastic cover and I fill up and, and I see the way that I actually order these it was pretty fun to see these they all have nine and a top nine and a top mother and the baby mother and the baby that's kind of how structurally systematically they were ordered they're all called visions now what are these visions these visions is a representation of this human seeker that is its search for serenity and peace it experiences the human experience, the roller coaster of that, the, the bitterness, the sweetness, com, com, you know, relationship uh, from ups and the downs. All of one, all of these painting is a representation of that. They're very colorful, black and white. You know, the border, life being black and white. They have a gray area. Um, they have some systematic, you know, presentation. All of them have a story. They all have a name. They have a presentation. And they're designed in a way that my art teacher said, create something that was never created. I can create. I, I, this is what I used to do. This is when I used to go to one school, art school. This is when I was 18 years old. And I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I learned all the principles of art before I started doing all these crazy abstract faces. Because anybody can do that. Even photography, camera does that. That's why my teacher said, so a true artist is innovative. It creates something that was never created. Why do you think uh, Picasso becomes so famous? Because he broke the rules. All of these current artists are more provocative, but I decided to be inspiration a heart face and use something, abstraction. So that's what these are, it's a mixture of Cubism, mixture of pop art, a little bit of a, uh, impressionism, all of that is in here. So this is an example of mother and the nine babies. The whole story just getting involved. It just kind of keep going and going. Connections happening. This is one of the last pieces. It's, this is a story of when I actually, Obama, President Obama, because I come from a Persian family, so I was influential, even though I was born and raised in Sweden, Western guy. Um, President Obama in the Persian New Year, he, he's tried to stretch an olive branch to Iranian community. And then he said, Happy Persian New Year. And he quoted a sh Persian Shakespeare. His name is Sadi, which that quote is being carved in the United Nations. When you step in the United Nations, you see that quote. And that quote says, The children of Adam are linked to each other, having been created of one essence. I'm getting goosebumps now. I've heard that. I said, this is going to be my next painting. This is just perfect. So that's what everything originated from. Now, this is one of the last painting. As this journey of the seeker, it just kind of continuously go and discovering, and then started discovering itself. It's called the Adam. Incredible, infinite intelligence. Capable to achieve anything with the hands and the legs. But the core is made of infinite love. That's the discovery. And the last pain is called the arrival. This is where it finds peace. It's called by Mona Lisa. That is the mother right there. And this is the nine babies. Actually, those originals are right here. What it does, it knocks on all the doors. And the only door that essentially opens is the heart. That's where it finds peace. Through this path, you can go and knock on each any door you want. But don't have to eventually you know you, you ain't getting anywhere the only way you get is through here and that's where you find peace now that was the conclusion right. as this journey after 16 1670 of them so i said okay well how am i going to put this together how am i going to puzzle how is this going to be a piece painting so i was guided to frame them when i framed them in 40 by 42 some of them have white stripes these are examples this is a good example because the original is right there. You see the white strap going to one painting, 25 paintings, right in the middle, 225 paintings, <coughs> 2,000 paintings. That's what happened is really these abstract faces, they didn't need to change. They can be broken, no problem. Is that black frame that brought them in the unity. And somebody brought that to my attention. I said, oh, that is amazing. We don't need to do anything. We just need to find one common ground. What is that common ground? Is the backside. 
the black frame a mixture of all colors when you mix them together it turns to black and you see this has a black frame around it the common denominator is infinite love that is how we can come in unity we don't need to do it. there's a lot of rules and rules and laws and everything they're temporary but infinite love is an impermanent law when we come together like what the sun it continues to shine when we come and follow our nature you will see global peace that's what ultimately what this art is representing if we want to get more into the technical side of it the front side is called vision of unity the back side is called vision of peace vision of unity and peace that's what this place is and we are building vision of unity and peace center or i call it vogue centers what are, are the combinations we have the visions there's over 1670 of them we have the three hearts we have the 14 mission the last painting we have the eye we have the olive branch and then we have the 272 country flags to get more in detail, this is where the heart is located. It's right in the heart of the art. The last 14 paintings is the elaboration, how you can manifest the visions. And to give you an example, the first one is when all of these visions come together. It's called coming together. Painting is right there on your left. Make sure we don't touch it either. <laughs> and, and then the second mission is called we see the element of water, we see the element of fire, we see the element of air and earth. This is called flow. Getting into the flow. Arising. This is called calling. This happened in 2011. Summer, some of you person in the community know. Calling is Nedo. And Nedo is actually inscripted there. And this is called earth. Co-create. Co-create, that's what it's called. Unconditional love, the paintings over there. Heart to heart is actually these individuals is look at it and sees that maybe the perhaps there is two hearts. There's the spiritual heart, there's the human heart. They're coming in union. Unity and peace in action. We have benefit all is the charity component. This last painting is called the source. When all of the seven rainbow color of hearts, which is us, circulating around the infinite love. And the last painting is Return to Source, like the black hole and all of the stars are being gravitated to returning to source. And the last painting is a prayer. It's a prayer about talking about our creator that is all love-based, infinite love. And the mankind, how small it is without it. And then a prayer for everlasting peace. And the bottoms talk about the vision. Imagine we live in a time of everlasting peace. Imagine that could out to reality 200 years ago when you talk to a person when there was slavery one day the, next, in the u.s they're never going to be slavery it was really hard to comprehend really hard to comprehend but now we see oprah winfrey one of the most powerful black african women in from this country and there is no slavery in this country so imagine humanity organically peacefully is moving toward that direction. And that's what this vision is about. The eye, we have the olive branch, we have the flags. The flags, I intended not to pan paint it myself. We have the map in there, and they are designed, and I am intending to invite artists that are living, top world class artists that are living in those countries to in the next stages of this undertaking to come and paint that, paint the flags. And there are flags from the past that there's, like Vietnam, for example, even Iran. Some people say, why do you put the, this Islamic Republic? Because that's what this present current it is. We want to acknowledge all the past flags in two inside of it. We want to give and acknowledge. So for all those people that actually in some way have a connection, they can feel they're part of this as well. Similar to Vietnam and so many other countries. Mm -hmm. So the Brazil, for example, we have China. Can I cut you off for that? Yeah. So ultimately what this is about, this is uh, potentially, I mean, if you do your research, it's gonna be the largest peace painting ever made in the history, 17 story building. The whole intention to inspire unity and peace. 
bring us all together to recognize we are one. Now, what are, what are the mission? What is the mission statement? It's only three steps. First, inspire global peace and prove that through unity, global peace is possible. The second is be a major fine art luxury brand and give half of the proceeds to vet the charity. Imagine you collect a Picasso work by Louis Vuitton and half of that go to charity. That's what nonprofit is tonight. Tonight, anything that actually being collected, half of that is gonna go to that nonprofit to support the cause. Mm -hmm. The remaining support the mission. Mm -hmm. And the third is, is actually build vote centers across the world. So we get an idea of what the first step is, is the art itself is speaking loud by itself. There's not much to talk about that. The second is, how are we gonna build this as a luxury brand, fine art brand? It's only through four products. The first is the originals. The second is limited editions. The third is NFTs, the phenomenon. NFT Richard is gonna talk about it. Some of you may know. Some people six months ago collected an NFT piece and right now they actually shared it to me. The NFT that I bought it, it's 600,000, literally. And that's why they came and collected some of my, my work because to see when this is gonna be displayed, when this is gonna be displayed as a whole, you're gonna increase in value. Now again, I'm not a financial advisor, just make it clear, I'm not licensed, but I'm just here to share my opinion. You make that judgment yourself. And then we have the merchandises. Merchandises for promotional purposes. The originals, pricing start from 1 million to 10 million originals. And this is to attract the, the 1%, the real art collectors that actually fly with a jet to Art Basel and collect 20 million, 30 million dollars artwork. So this is the pricing that we have to it. And this is with an agreement that we can use it for any type of, um, they can con collect the artwork after the big display, and then we can borrow it anytime we need it for any type of major event that create more value for the collector and the brand. The more eyeball, the better off. The originals, pricing, the eye is the highest, and then the flags, we don't know, that's not priced yet, because we need to our artists paint those. And the remaining vision, these are the one that is, is. None of these are released, only the first 40 is released, because ultimately, we need gas. Now this, I wanna share you, this is what we're gonna build in Great Park, and I'll share you more about it. The first step, I've met Mayor Farrakhan, Farrakhan was sitting right there with her team, about a month and a half ago, they fell in love with it, we need to build this. So, and there's another type of original that this is only the three hearts. It's called fractional ownership. That is gonna be 1,000 pieces, and each original are three million, so you can get it for 3,000 and increase value, and that's kind of what these originals are. So anybody that can't own, own, you know, um, participate at this time, but they can participate to own a fractional of these three parts only. These are the only one that is released with 3,000 per token and there's only gonna be 1,000 token. Like a piece of share, that it's makes sense. Token. token is like a piece of share, like a stock. That's the best way I can describe it. Richard gonna come and explain all of that for us, the technicality. You're gonna be limited edition, limited editions has not been released. That's gonna be exactly how the originals are and uh, they're gonna be signed with 